In this new episode, I want to really talk with you about uh, Manon. I met her at VivaTech and she's working for Open Food Facts. Maybe you saw the Explores video and they do crazy stuff with data. Uh, Open Food Facts is an NGO because we wanted to build the biggest database uh, about food products. And thanks to our app that we recently developed, you can scan the QR code of uh, any product in a supermarket and you get uh, two different scores. The first one indicates the nutritional quality of the product, so if it's good for you or bad for you. And the second indicator we're trying to, to share with the customer is the EcoScore. And the EcoScore judges the environmental impact of the product. Uh, and all this uh, information are taken into account to compute the impact of the product on the planet. Uh, data is going to help us eat better and make better choices for our health and for the planet. And because we're eating three times a day, uh, this is 1,000 opportunity per year to make better decisions. It's amazing how they really help people to eat better. It's as simple as that. Yeah, it's really the helping the, the end consumer to, to live a better life. And um, this is something where it's really a company based on this information. Mm -hmm. But of course, our traditional customers, and we have over 20,000 customers, they are using data, but do they have all the data available? And if they have it, can they bring it to the end customer, to the consumer, to make the best decision for health, for environment, for whatever? What I, what I see talking to prospects, talking to, to customers, that they found it difficult to really find the right scoping for innovation using data. So uh, where do they start? How do they, do they keep it simple? Is that something that sounds familiar to you? Yes, I think it's an everyday challenge for our customers uh, because the information is available. Uh, but nobody knows where it is. Most often the people who know which information is available are not making the ideas of new apps or new consumer products that they're going to use. So it's really something that through your entire organization that you need to use the data that you have somewhere in your legacy systems and how can you bring it to your end customer and get the value out of that for your entire organization. That's the challenge. So, so what could they learn from Anon? I think it's good if you are at a business level that you really go and sit on the, on the seat of your customer and what is important to them and how does their process looks like and what can you do with your information and how can you help them. What I found amazing is that they're using all this data, collecting it from all different sources and in the end it's the consumer that sees two scores. One, it's healthy and the other one, it's good for the planet. It's amazing. Yeah, they made it super easy and that's what the consumer wants nowadays. Yeah. <laughs>